Hello, my name is Lee Mills. I'm the Service Director for Citation. I'm here to talk to you about construction dust, which is a really hot topic in the industry at the moment. There are three main types of dust. The first one is silica, which is respirable crystalline silica, or that's what it's known as. The second one is wood dust, so that's hardwood, softwoods, MDF, plywood. And the third one is what we call lower toxicity dust, which is things like gypsum and plasterboard. The diseases you can catch from dust are things like lung cancer, asthma, COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and silicosis. 500 workers a year die in construction from, from dust-related diseases, which is the second biggest killer of construction workers behind asbestos. The jobs that generate dust are things like using still saws, cut-off saws, um, using grinders, drilling, uh, and, and sanders, things like that. You have a legal duty to pre prevent and control dust exposure. The first thing you should do is assess the risk. High risk activities are things like cutting concrete, removing rubble, uh, drilling, uh, wet, and, wet and dry coring, uh, cutting roof tiles, those types of things. Under the HSE's guidance, you should control the risk. So that means where well, you can stop or remove the risk altogether. So that means using um, using products with the low or no silica content, uh, using block splitters in, in, instead of uh, cut-off saws, uh, even use a different method of attaching, different fastening methods so you don't have to cut or drill. If you're using control measures, which for example, if you're cutting uh, a roof tile, you expect it to wet cut. That the, 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 the wet cut method you should use should be a pump bottle spray or, or a mains fed uh, spray system, uh, and that should deliver water at about 0.5 litres per minute. If you're using on tool extraction, things like this are now on the market. This is, this is a hollow drill, hollow tip drill, and it attaches to a vacuum uh, machine. If you're using that type of extraction, or what we call local exhaust ventilation, that should be with a commercial vacuum cleaner that's rated as high or medium in terms of extraction, and you need to ensure that it's got pre-filters in it so the filters don't get blocked when you're extracting. It also should be subject to what the HSC call text, thorough examin examination and test, and that should be at least every 14 months. Other control measures you can have is our RPE, respiratory protective equipment, and for, um, for, for, for dust environments, the HSC recommend that you have uh, an assigned protection factor, an APF of 20. So that effectively means that you're breathing in a 20th of the dust in the atmosphere. And for most operations, I would recommend you use an FFP3 dust mask. And of course, in the current environment, if you're using RPE, you need to have a face fit test for every worker, and the worker should be clean shaven. And also, if there's anything that changes on the worker in terms of they gain or lose weight, etc., you need to retake that face fit test. You should also undertake training of all these control measures. So that means that you know, the, your, your workforce should be trained in the hazards of using dust, the control measures of using dust, how you use wet cutting techniques, how you use on tool extraction and the reason for doing so. Other control measures in, in, involve rotating the workers, um, enclose the work itself in a, in a, in a, in a sort of like a, a plastic enclosure to protect, to, to protect rather other workers, and mechanical ventilation. So in summary, if you're using dust in construction, the first thing is, is if you put, if this can at all possible do it, is avoid creating dust. The second thing you should look at is, you know, if, you, if you're cutting, use wet cut techniques, for example, in, um, in, in roof tiles. Um, the third thing you should do is, is to provide RPE and PPE. So even if you're sweeping up on a construction site now, you should wear the relevant RPE and relevant PPE. And sometimes if you're wearing things like a half face dust mask, which is the HSC preferred method, um, you should ensure it doesn't interact in a, in a negative way with eye protection or hearing protection or your hard hat, for example. Something that I know is a change in the industry for people, people of my age is that things like using the dust bag on, the, on a cut-off saw or on a, on a jigsaw or a, sorry, a circular saw is just no, no, now. You need to have proper dust extraction uh, um, and that must be a HEPA filtered. And it must be rated high or medium at least in its extraction. And obviously, with anything that you do, it should have a risk assessment in it. And you must um, 
implement those controls that you identify from the hazards and obviously review and train people in that risk assessment. Thank you.